first of all, I've just been to the manager. Um, obviously, my contract came, came to an end at Swindon. Um, and spoke to you know, three or four managers and directors, chairman, and people like that. And, and uh, yeah, I had a good, good feeling about what's going on here. And, um, and yeah, I'm very happy to be here. And you've had a, a couple of years at Swindon. Just tell us about your time there. Yeah, it's been a, it was a difficult two years. I um, went down there um, with the aim of getting, getting promoted. Obviously, the club has been relegated from League One. Um, it's ended up being a long, long two years. Um, wife and kids still living like, around this area, so I was living down there um, on my own, and it, it was a, it was a place that was difficult to to build any sort of um, um, momentum with the sort of things that went on down there. So. Obviously, it was, it was nice to get a fresh start and um, yeah, kick on from it. So this is a good move for you geographically as well as on the pitch, you hope? Yeah. Um, like I said, I was living um, away from my wife and my uh, three kids for, for two years. And any, any dad or husband would say it's, it's difficult to um, you know, spend that amount of time uh, away. So um, it was important that I um, move back to this, this sort of area. But um, um, you know, after speaking to you know, three or four clubs around there, this was definitely the one that I felt... Um, was uh, right for me. Was there other interest from from League One, League Two, sort of area, at sort of level? Yeah, um, yeah. There was uh, three in, in, in uh, League Two that I spoke to, and um, like I said, speaking to the gaffer and um, the people there, and obviously look, look around the, the training ground and stuff like that. It was a, uh, it was quite an easy decision in, um, in the end. What did David Artel say to you? Uh, well, obviously we talked about um, what happened last year um, with with Crew, and obviously. Finish. I think it was six points off the playoffs, and and what he wants to do next year to obviously bridge that gap and and uh, push things on. So um, yeah, obviously the lads, have obviously have been in now about ten days, and you can see the quality's here. So um, everyone's looking forward to hopefully a positive season. What sort of player are you? Um, well, obviously growing up, I was always a, a ball playing centre half, and um, obviously like to defend, but also. Uh, like to play, obviously different managers and different clubs that you play for in the in the football league obviously dictate to how, how you are going to play, but um, after speaking to the manager, it's, it's definitely a style of play that I'm looking forward to, to getting going. You've only been here a bit, but you've already had some glowing references off the assistant manager who, who says you might be captain material. I, mean, I know you've done that role before, how did that make you feel when you heard that? Yeah, it's obviously it's, uh, nice to hear, obviously I'll just um, come in and, and do my business, it's not so that I'm... Uh, demanding to, to happen or, or working hard to, to make happen. I'm just um, being myself and, and um, as you said, it's, it's happened to me, to me before to be captain of, of football clubs, but um, you know, there's, a, there's a lot of good lads in this change room I can see already, so um, the more people like that we have, the, um, the more successful that we're going to be. And you're coming into a, a team which has lost a few senior yeah. players, you're going to be one of the replacements for that. Are you looking forward to that challenge of, of helping some of the younger players? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, you know, crew is... Uh, well known for bringing through um, good good youngsters and um, part of my role you know, as, as you know, there's sort of four or five six of us that are a bit older now and a bit more experienced so you know, to, to help them along um, in, their, in their journey would be um, a uh, responsibility that I'm looking forward to. What sort of, uh, sorry what do you think can be achieved this season? Uh, I think anything that we want to be um, I think if you look at League 2 in the last few years you wouldn't um, I've said that certain teams would get promoted, but they did. You wouldn't say that certain teams got relegated, but they did. So this this league can never really predict it. Um, we've got to make sure that we're at it um, from from day one, which, which which the lads have been. So um, as I said last year, they just missed out in the playoffs. So um, you always want to improve. So um, definitely looking to to be as successful as possible. And how are you finding pre-season? Uh, yeah, it's tough. Um, obviously, always tough, especially the first sort of week ten days. Um, you know, long, um, hard, hard days, but you know it's all in the bank, and um, you know, hopefully now that now that the games come, you sort of get that match fitness and um, yeah, uh, building towards that first game against Plymouth. And the team was you know, so close to getting to the playoffs; they had a really comfortable system. I mean, how are you finding playing that? Are you looking forward to getting more game time in, in that in playing four three three? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, the first sort of week we haven't really worked too much on the sort of, um, tactical side. It's more um, uh, physical. But um, yesterday we we start to look at clips um, from last year and, and, and what we want to do this year. And um, yeah, looking forward to you know to getting down with that. And um, obviously the match is starting.